right, guys. Thanks for listening to the Clark Street Wrestling Podcast. We the ones. Hear that circle debate? We the ones. Debate coming soon. (laughs) 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 Right. (laughs) It's over. (laughs) Oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. Yes, yes. Hey man, yeah. dude! Thank you again for hanging in with us. We went longer. Yeah. I was I was trying to keep it going. Way long. I'm looking at the time. I'm like holy shit! Like, ah, shit. It's well over one hour and a half, almost double. Yeah. 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 I'm not worried about it. So we there. It's we okay. there. The mistress is not tripping. She's like dinner has been ready for about an hour and a half. But I don't care. <laughs> like what's gonna we, what's gonna happen? You know? oh, <laughs> man. I'm gonna make it up to her anyways. We're gonna go to Target anyways. They're still open. Ah, here at Target. Oh shit! Oh wow. Okay. Target. Target. Target stays open at eleven on our side. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. yeah. They're open to midnight today, so I'm like, okay. holy shit. Okay. Yeah. So she's gonna be. Well, I don't know why she wanna go there for. Her. I hope not. I'm going to try to change your mind. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> try, to, try to change your mind. Oh, man. This is fun. Man. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, the debate. I mean, yeah, let's let's try to figure that out. Um, you know, I mean, upcoming is going to be kind of tough between work and the holidays yeah. and everything. You know, it might be a little bit tricky coming up these next couple of weeks, but maybe like early December. Um, we can get into like after Thanksgiving and start looking at at days that we could potentially do the debate. You know that that would definitely that'd be my my call yeah. there. You know. Not for sure, but I'm gonna ask you to come in twice though because then I'm gonna need you for the, the, the UFC. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down for that. That'd be fun. That one for sure. Hell yeah. And um, and I, I still gotta get with everybody on the group chat for the Saturday special because I wanted because you know we. Thanksgiving special wanted to do it, you know, this weekend, like Saturday. Oh, okay. but, but nobody has responded. I know, I know, Devin, you responded. They, you know, uh, this you Saturday. Know. Uh, yeah. Mm. yeah, if you could do, I could cover for both of us. I was gonna say, yeah, because I, I closed the work. That's shit. Mm-hmm. I forgot. I gotta, yeah, no. I gotta let Dom. I won't be able to do the show because I told him Saturday, but that was already. I forgot that. Like you double booked. You double, double booked, booked, right? <laughs> hey, That's a tie. Sorry, right. Dom. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, it all depends on the time. I don't know what time everybody wants to agree on. You know, so I don't. Just for me, I, I don't care if it's like a. You know, 10 a.m. my time could be like 12 or you know, it could be at 12 or one. Yeah, I can't. The earlier, better is cool. Or, or early, yeah. I wish I could early. do it that early. Yeah, nah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, whatever yeah. works for anybody, honestly. I mean, for me, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, on the you know, Saturday, it would definitely be the evening. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it just, we can do it however we can do it. And man, all I know is that my team won me a hundred bucks yesterday. Ooh, I wish they. Fantasy football team? No, my 49ers. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. dude. Okay. I, I I had a feeling about that. I really did. Because that 49ers defense and at home, I thought, ooh, there's a chance that they could come up. And I, in one of my fantasy leagues, I had the, the 49ers defense, and they had got me like 17, 17 points. And I won by point zero two <laughs> because of them. Yeah. Holy that was I was like, oh, I'm gonna lose this. Cutting like, close. At, dude, at best, I thought they were gonna give me ten points, and I was down big. But I had Kittle, and I had and I had the defense. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I looked at it because I wasn't really paying attention. I'm like, fuck, I lost. Then I looked at, I saw that the I was watching the game, and you know they got the the pick six. Yeah. I'm like, what's the score right now in my face? <laughs> <laughs> and I look at it, and I said, I'm only down a point. What the hell is going on? <laughs> you know, and, and, then, and then they gave up a touchdown. I'm like, shit, you know, they, they gave that up. But I think Kittle scored after that. And then, um, you know, I, I was going back and forth between football and basketball. And then towards the end of the football game, I went back. And on that last drive, I'm like, holy shit, I need just a point. I'm like, what could, and I'm thinking, okay, uh, they think the Rams have the ball because they're not throwing the ball anymore. They're just running. Mm-hmm. The 49ers were like, we're running this football down their throats. That's all we need to do. I'm like, shit, Kittle's not going to get the ball. But I'm like, if the 49ers defense can get a pick or a couple of sacks, I'm good. 
And, you know, there were a couple of picks towards the end that they could have had. And one of them, like, almost in the end zone, yeah. the two defenders, like, stopped yeah. each other from getting oh, the pick. I said, no. <laughs> like, what are y'all doing? Same team. Know, same man. team. Oh. So, I'm like, ah. But then um, Stafford got sacked, like, mm. one of the last plays of the game. I'm like, oh, shit. That's it. And then it didn't come up on my app yet. I'm like, give me the sack. Where is the sack? Why not give the sack? Like, what's going on? Update. Then, refresh, damn it. Yeah, stack correction. Stack correction. And then finally it hit, and I'm like, point oh, and I'm like, please, okay, nothing else happened. You know, don't let, for whatever reason, <laughs> Kittle get the ball and then run backwards or something, <laughs> some goofy. I'm like, come on, man, like, don't do this to me. And then it ended. I'm like, oh, shit. Then you got to wait because, you know, stack correction, you're not sure. Maybe they still change something. And then uh, I got the notification like, yeah, you won in the morning. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I won by point oh two. Damn. So, yeah, man, it's always fun when you get those. I mean, it's it's nerve wracking, but it's yeah, always fun yeah. to get it those, fun, those wins like that. Yeah. It is oh, fun. Man. Oh, uh, man. Honestly, I feel bad for the Rams. They lost that, that momentum since that Tennessee loss. That was. Yeah. Oh, that That's was what weird. hurt them. Yeah. That's what hurt. I, they thought yeah. they were going to bounce back. I'm like, honestly, look, I, I'm realistic with my squad. My fucking squad are hurting defensively with a new yeah. defensive coordinator. There's been a lot of games previously before we started losing. We were winning by okay, by, okay, by two touchdowns or by one, and then all of a sudden mm-hmm. there's a close game. Like what the fuck? It was it just? I don't know what the hell this defensive quarter is doing. It's yeah. new to me. Uh, I do miss Robert Sala, but I know uh, he's with the Jets. I don't know why, but yeah. yeah. And then, man, I do so hot. <laughs> man, I do so hot. He might be back next year. I, I yeah. think so. Too. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Right. Jesus, man. Oh, man. Man. And we're getting close and close to the playoffs. Oh, man. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. This is week 11 coming up. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I need every win now. I can't afford a loss. I get <laughs> all my losses. <laughs> oh, man. I, yeah, man. When I beat Jason, I was like, thank God. Repeat season. <laughs> Let's go. You, you still hold it on. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Let's go. Repeat season. Oh, man. I Dude, need I, this. That was another one, too. Uh, my, my matchup with AD, um, it was crazy because I was, was watching your matchup. Yeah. But, I was but like, okay. he still had his defense. And I'm like, oh, the Rams against the 49ers. And, you know, there's a lot of hype in the Rams. But I'm like, I, I got a gut feeling this is going to go my way. And, you know, I, I'm watching it like any little thing that happens, I would have been screwed. But the 49ers just kept scoring. They kept scoring. They kept scoring. I'm like, yes, yes. Keep getting into them. <laughs> and when it, I, dude, I just keep finding a way. I don't know. I'm getting lucky these last couple of weeks. My quarterback suck, you know, because Kyler Murray's hurt. So, you know, that sucks. Dude, my quarterback been uh, sucking. Mike Williams has been sucking. Herbert. Yeah. Mike Williams. Not yeah. so good. Not well, so Chris good. McCaffrey came back, came back. Yeah. Ah, in my dude. Dallas Cowboy defense. Hey. Dude, that was a great pickup. <laughs> that was a great <laughs> Gave me 21 points. Dude. Picked them oh off the way far. I'm like, who they playing? Falcons. Okay, at least give me 10 minimum with them. That's what, right, right. 10 minimum. Oh, but they gave me 21. 21. Yeah, <laughs> 21, man. Yeah. And I, I was like, I cannot wait to see Skip Bayless on a Monday morning. I said, I was just looking forward to it. I was like, and yep, we yep. got it. And I was oh, like, and I knew man. Shannon was like, yep, we're going to get it. I was like, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> Dude, man. But on a, on a side note, too, I mean, I know we're talking about football, but one thing when you mentioned Skip Bayless that kind of is annoying me right now is the Bulls are balling right now. The Chicago Bulls, they're balling right now. I but for whatever it. reason, we beat the all these dog shit out of the Lakers, too. Out of the Lakers, we beat the Clippers, who were hot. But then, for whatever reason, all these talk shows ain't talking about us. They're still talking about, well, you know, the Lakers. And, you know, what does this mean for Whoa. the Lakers? What you mean, uh, what does this mean for the Lakers? What about what this means for the Bulls? What DeRozan doing? Talk about what DeRozan doing. 38 points? <laughs> love. What's he got? If he I know. 50, is I that know. enough? Kill it. Uh, I was because you know first take and undisputed like I'll check it out especially when something like that happens because I'm like okay they beat the Lakers so maybe you know they'll start showing them some love and talk about them but everything was about how oh well you know who's gonna get the championship first Russell Westbrook or Odell Beckham I'm like what are we talking about the losing what are we teams? talking about what they, both of them lost like no just 
you got to talk about the Bulls. You want to talk about the 49ers and like what this means for them. Cool. Like focus on the winning side. What you? I get it. LA's a big market, whatever. It's the Odell is like so such a hot topic. I get it, but it big just mistake still by sucks. the way. I, wanted to, I just wanted to say that big mistake for the Rams to pick him up. Them picking him up. I, I uh, it's not a good addition, in my opinion. I mean, he's a fucking curse. Man. Hey, he's Woods like, is out. He's though, like, I was gonna say. Yeah, I know yeah. Yeah, Woods is out, but I mean, oh man, <laughs> you I need a down the him now. you need a down the field threat. Yeah, he. <laughs> He 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 ain't catching, but he's right. still a threat. Right. Yeah, yeah. Just like, like at first, you you're not right. Like I don't think they needed him before. You know, before no. the Woods injury, they didn't need him. He was just gonna exactly. be on Jackson. Yep. But yeah. now with Woods out, it's like shit. You yeah, they, they have the no choice. They have right. no choice. Dude, Van yeah. Jefferson is cool, but he's not. You know, he's not on that level. At least not yet. You know, yeah. so I don't know. That that's 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 tricky, but I. I think they kind of got exposed a little bit, honestly. Like, that defense not being able to stop the run, and you knew that's what they wanted to do, and you still couldn't stop it. Mm-hmm. Everybody's going to do that to you now. Like, yep. Everybody. It's like with Patrick Mahomes. Like, you put the two uh, the two uh, uh, safeties deep, and he was having problems with that. Now every team is copying that defense. You yep. know, just say, okay, let's just do that. If got he, he can't figure it out, <laughs> shit, we're just gonna all do the same thing. Yep. You know, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. So I don't know. We'll man. see. My Lakers either too, man. My Lakers not looking good, man. I. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm uh, sorry. Man. This ain't the year. Uh, this is not the year. <laughs> Look, for uh, for them uh, adding, uh, adding Russell was a big mistake. <laughs> yes. They got the wrong wizard. They took the wrong wizard. You should have tried to trade for Beal, not Russ. Because they need Beal shooting. Beal would have been perfect. Yeah. It makes more shooting. sense. Oh. You can't have the best three-point shooter in your starting lineup be LeBron James. He, I'm just sorry. You no, can't. no. You can't. No. <laughs> like, but that's no. what it is. He's their go-to three-point shooter. It's like, wait, what? Huh? I, like, I'm looking at the line of Bazemore. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, Westbrook, he, he can't play with LeBron. No. no. Like, they, it's, it's. They it's, don't compliment each other. They don't. And Westbrook, you know, he, he's, he's always been that dude. So, I don't think he, he he's trying to take a step back. But he's yeah. doing it to his detriment, though. Right, right. Those first couple yeah. games with LeBron, you could tell, like, he was just, you know, all right, let me stay out of the way, you know, yeah. and, and let them do their thing. And then they came out and they were like, oh, Russ, you need to be you, you know, be Russ. And it, it took LeBron getting hurt for him to finally yeah. be himself and get the triple doubles and all that. But yeah, once LeBron comes back, what do you, you can't, you can't take the ball. You can't have LeBron play off the ball. Like that doesn't, that sounds weird. Like the ball should be in LeBron's hands. You can't have Russ play off the ball because he's not a shooter. Like, he's not no. a guy. He's not a spot up. You can't put him in the corner and say, hey, I kick you the ball, hit this three. Like, hell no. Nah. There's no air ball. Like, he's terrible. <laughs> so, I I don't know, man. I feel like they need to make a trade, you know, and try to get Russ out there. Yeah. Just ASAP, get a shooter. Man. You need a shooter. They, we do need a shooter. And, you know, coming with the All-Star game, man, they better they better step it up. Because after that, that's it. We're number seven right now. Dude. Chicago, man. I'm look. Like, I'm hey. the move that Chicago made, yo, bro. I was yo, happy. I was like, yo, Caruso, Caruso, yeah. what thank he's you, thank doing? Thank you for that. Thank you for Caruso. Please. Yes. You're welcome. Yes. You're welcome. yes. That man's playing great defense. And he's like, not even scoring. He's and not even scoring. Not, he's not even scoring. He's yeah. filling up the stat sheet, bro. Yeah. But you Just know what? I, that, that's, that's the reason why he left. He wanted to be his own show. He wanted to be the one man show. I mean, yeah. he, 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 he be paid more star. too. So he's getting paid. He's getting paid more, yeah. paid more. and yeah. he's a highlight out there, man. I, I'm, yeah. I'm happy for him. Yeah. I'm not him. You know, I'm just man. I'm just loving right now basketball because especially with the Bulls. Mm-hmm. Especially with you know with Golden State and looking like the old school Golden State too. Yeah, right? they're scary. Right. That team's yep. scary. Scary. Like, <laughs> they just destroyed oh. the Nets uh, today. Starting to, starting to get worried. Yeah, yeah. dude, man, yeah. that's the team man. to beat. That's, that's the team, team to beat. beat. It's just that Damn. how the fuck is they're able they're able to do it, and the rest of the team cannot be fucking cannot find shooters. What is Steve Kerr poisoning these motherfuckers? What are you telling them? Like, what are you? Dude, what man. the fuck? Everybody Seriously, like, he got Jordan. The, he got the secret. Jordan he Poole thinks he's Steph Curry. Like he just he takes these like logo shots, you know. When you're like, what are you doing? And it goes in. It's like, wait, what? Huh? 
huh? Who are you again? What's you, like, where did you come from? I mean, he's been doing this for the last couple of years, but you know, it's just, you're right. Steve Kerr gives him that confidence. He's just like, Hey man, take the shot. You open, take the shot, you know, yeah. like, and they're shooting with him, Toscano Anderson. Um, what's his name? Uh, Damian Lee, yes. like these guys who were role players, but they play with Steph. They're having fun. They feel confident. They're just like, fuck it. Let me just, let me, let me play free like he does. And it goes in. It's like, shit, even Andrew Wiggins. Where is this coming from? This man balling now, like getting 35, 32. He's like, never ball like that in Timber in Minnesota. No, never. not Minnesota. Right. Like, and I'm Steve, you know, what the fuck? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> this team is I, loaded. They ain't even got man. clay yet. No. Just, oh, that's, that's, that's that is fair. the scary part. That's not fair. <laughs> they don't have clay yet, bro. That's not fair. The Splash man. Brothers are not even complete yet. Yup, yup. That kid Wiseman, you know, the rookie from last yeah. year, yes. once he gets healthy, uh, yes. that team is loaded. It's loaded, man. <laughs> I don't, Jesus, we're looking like the, what, 2000, what is it, 2000 what? Uh, when what, the 73 was, and uh, 9 team? No, I, uh, the Lakers, for me, feel like we're looking like. Oh, freaking, Lakers. Uh, uh, what year was it is it when they lost to Detroit? When they had all the oh, oh with Gary Payton and Carmelo oh, 2004. and all those guys. Four, right? Was it 2004? Yeah, 04, oh, yeah, 04, yeah. season. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's all these, it. We're the yeah, oldest. Honestly. We're the, old, we're the ones with the oldest. That's true. Life. That's a great you know, point. That age-wise, it's like the same thing. Like but that team, shit. they still were playing pretty well, though, yeah. until they got to the Pistons. Like, then it was just like, because they played, Because they played a complete team. They play, that was they the problem. Were, Everybody yeah, knew they ruled their yeah. role in that team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And us, we did it. Because yeah, we it was had like what, Paul Hunter. one It was yeah. like a 4-1 series, something like that? Yeah, because Carmelo like, got hurt. Oh, got hurt. yeah. Think, one of the, one of the games, he got yeah. hurt. And Gary choked out throughout the whole series. He was he terrible. Shit. Yeah. He was terrible. It was terrible. Was shit. Like, oh, That's crazy because I thought they had a squad. They had uh, like Gary Payton, they yeah, had Malone, Malone, yep, Ben, Shaq, I was like, Kobe, Shaq, Shaq, Kobe, Kobe Fisher. Oh. Yeah, yeah Fisher. Think, was Robert Ory still there at the time? Robert Ory was still there. We and then we had and then we had Horace Grant. Horace Grant, so like, yeah, come like, on, oh, man. like how? How do you lose? But you know, chemistry, man. It's not all about these, yes. you know, just getting names. And they were older too. It wasn't like. Prime Gary Payton, oh, prime Carmelo. Like, like, yeah. Yep, they were on the back end. They were, they were, they were yeah, they were the towards out. the yeah, 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 yeah. They were, they were. Yeah. This they were. Like, oh man, I don't see us at all. I mean, I, I see us at least going to the second round. That's it. After that, I don't yeah. see us passing. I hate to say that. I man. mean, right now the West is looking. I, but see, what I like about it is evenly matched now. Now you have the East also that is stacked. Yeah, the East is yeah. back now. Back, East yeah. is back. It's Finally, not like overload back. anymore. Yeah. No, it's not. Uh -huh. It's not like the four teams that you expected, and then the rest of them are okay. They're just like water, whatever, you know. But right. Hell no. I, I shit. Well, Chicago for sure. Miami for sure. The Knicks for God six. I'm the like the Knicks okay. are playing well, man. Yep. The Knicks. Boy, D Rose is still kicking, mm -hmm. man. He's still doing his thing, dude. I'm so happy to see him still like balling at that level. Um. Yeah, Milwaukee. I mean, shit. They're the champions. I can't count them out. You know, once no. they get healthy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, they're still going to be. I mean, it's it's still early though. It's still. Yeah, yeah. Still, yeah, still a lot of game left. Man. Yeah. yeah Actually, the Wizards too are like weirdly they're, they're winning they're, games, man. They're number one right now, currently. The Wizards. Yep. Yeah. In, the, in the East standings, in the East, they're. Oh one. wow. That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Ten and three right now. <laughs> like what the yeah. what? <laughs> hey, man, they got rid of Russell Westbrook, and now they're the number one <laughs> team in the East. Oh mm. man, I'm oh Russ, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Could he be the problem? Could he be our curse if it yeah. is him? Then I think uh, I think so. That's it right there. That's oh, oh that's my crazy. god, I don't that's know. Crazy. It is crazy, man. It, it's man. it's I just can't. Ah, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Well. It's I'm okay. I, as long as we do better than the Clippers, I don't give a fuck. That's all there, I mean. you, there you go. <laughs> Just be Clippers, Clippers. Who? Fuck the Clippers. I don't care. Right. As as, I don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking of all this, so is this true that the Staples Center is getting renamed? I heard about that, but yeah. I, I, need to, I need to read into it. I don't know what the hell is going to rename it. 
I got so I got an alert on my sleeper app. It, it, I'm taking with this with a grain of salt. Maybe it's just a troll or whatever. But the name is uh, Crypto.com Arena. What? <laughs> hold on, hold on, bro. <laughs> hold on. I mean, you gonna make me look search Google now? Oh, search Google. I gotta look this up. Oh, I'm I'm gonna, gonna, this up I got man. this. <laughs> hold on. Hell just no. type in Crypto.com Arena. <laughs> Oh, it's, it it's be... Staples Arena Crypto. Why is it saying that? I, oh, it is saying it. Oh. Yeah, the, yeah, oh yeah. My Channel, God. yeah, it is this, this. <laughs> no. Arena. No longer Staples. Crypto Doc. Who the fuck did that? Who, who the sold? Who bought the name? Oh my God. Crypto.com buys naming rights. Who is Crypto.com? Crypto.com. But why would you push? Like, that's terrible. That's a terrible name, man. Like, they they trying to push this cryptocurrency, man. I'm trying to. <laughs> what can they name yeah, out yeah. the. Dude, there's I like, guess it's not, I, it's, it's not better if you just say Crypto Arena, but there's something about Crypto.com <laughs> that just gets me. <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's oh from my Staples God. Center. Oh Staples Lord! Staples Center to crypto. On Christmas <laughs> Day, it's official on Christmas Day, bro. On fucking Christmas dude, Day. It's happening on Christmas gonna be Day. Like, dude, yes. I'm out, I'm out dude. I'm oh, playing I can't. It. I'm so like, dated like, with this name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. I saw it. I saw it actually well, a while ago when we were recording. Jeez, and dude. I don't know. I looked out of my phone. It, the, the recording got it probably. But I was like, huh? what's this? But I didn't want to derail the wrestling conversation. So I just let it go. I'm glad we started talking about the Lakers. So I'm like, oh, shit. That's right. I did see that thing pop up. Com- Who the fuck is? Crypto.com. Yeah. Yup. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, where you gonna be at, man? I'm gonna be at the crypto.com arena, bro. I'll be at the crypto.com arena, bro. <laughs> hey, it's a concert, man. Jay Z at the crypto.com arena. <laughs> <laughs> It is what it is. It was fun while it lasted, Staples Center. It was fun while it lasted. 20-year deal? You yeah. got to stick with that for 20 years? 20, yep. I'm, I'm looking. I'm reading it. Entertainment industry for the next 20 years. <laughs> yes. Damn. 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 They paid $700 million for the naming rights. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. With a new name for 20 years under a deal between the Singapore Cryptocurrency <laughs> Exchange and AEG. Couldn't they just say oh. AEG Arena? Like, you know, that, they, kind of that sounds yeah. better. That yeah, sounds better than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I like the ring of that. AEG right. Arena. Yeah. Crypto.com. Oh, my God, man. We're, we're transitioning to the, to the crypto, to the crypto, crypto money. The Los Bitcoin. Angeles cryptos. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's oh next. Hey, you crypto that's fans, it. are you ready? Crypto baseball. Crypto baseball. Oh, my oh, God. Shit. This is, this, bro, man. I'm telling you, that's just crazy. This partnership is about the future, said Dan. That could be president and CEO of AEG. Oh. <laughs> the next few years people will look back at this moment as the moment when crypto crossed the chasm into the mainstream this is such a brilliant move from the guys at AEG because the next decade belongs to crypto <laughs> and this positions this positions LA and this particular venue right at the center of it Come on, oh my god this is, I cannot wait Oh, oh my god, this is gonna be interesting to see. I, they, I know they're gonna shorten it up. Yeah, meet me at the crib. Right? <laughs> oh well, I mean, yeah. Crypt arena. It's crypt arena. Hey man, we gotta go to the crypto. Like, what? We're going to the club? To the club? Going, no, to the arena, man. To the, to the crypto arena. Oh, the I think crypto. we're going to the crypto. Right. We're going to the crypto. We're going to the crypto. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, dude. Shit. 
Yeah, I wasn't sure. I was like, maybe it's a troll. Maybe it's some crap. Oh, it, it is. It, it is decided. Like, oh, legit. Crypto.com. Like, oh, my God. years, two yeah. decades of crypto. They getting that name out there. Oh, I never heard of them until now. I never heard of them. Mm. Man. I'm, I'm wondering what they're going to call the, the, the Clipper one that they're going to be building. This yeah, gonna bring, they're gonna make uh, it's gonna be right across from the so Clippers are getting their own arena. Yes. Yep, yeah. Oh, I think he bought the parking lot right across from the SoFi. Uh, okay. and then he's gonna start building. I think they're already gonna start now already, so they should be ready by. That's a good call. Late, That's late, a good move. move. That's what. Yeah, why not? I, I, even uh, I mean, the Great Western Forum is a is uh it's a legendary arena, but that was more used for like you know more like a more shows, more like you know like bands or you know any performances. Yeah. But then, but I, I'm, at least they're keeping it; they're not destroying it because if they would have destroyed it, then that would have been that's like a history right there. I mean, no oh, shit. They they already destroyed the what, the, the LA Sports Arena. That's when they turned into that LA, LA, LAFC um football stadium soccer. Yeah. So they did that. Uh, they're thinking about turning out like the convention center because they really want to make um, like an arena. But I don't know what type of arena they want to make. I'm, that's what I'm hearing. So I don't know if it's going to happen. So I was like, oh, shit. shit. And they're, 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 they're remodeling everything here in LA. Bro. A lot of shit here. It sucks to, like, to, to tear down or remodel like the, the classic venues, man. It's like yeah. for us, like Soldier Field and like potentially getting rid of that. Like I just like, yeah, it's gonna just, what's gonna come to Arlington Heights now. Yeah, they're gonna move, yeah. or it, it sounds like they're getting ready to move the Bears um, over to Arlington Heights. Arlington Heights, but like, yeah, it's just it just feels weird whenever they do that. It's like, or you know, for us in wrestling, like Allstate Arena, we love Allstate. Like, imagine them just getting rid of that. Like, it would just be mm-hmm. there's so much history in that in that building that I would hate to hear that. Yeah, they tore down Allstate. Like that would just yeah, that would suck. suck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Would, yeah, you know, yeah. all like, the great matches, WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah, the money in the banks that we had. Banks. Yeah, uh, that place is so fun. Oh, man. Yep, that yeah. Survivor Series we were talking about—that was at Allstate, right? Was that in Chicago? Twenty nineteen. NXT. Yeah, one? NXT yeah. one. Was. Yeah, that was yeah, here. Was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yep, that was. Yeah, man. God damn. Good times. Good times. Memories. Good times. Of those memories. <laughs> I want to miss it, man. No, uh, they better fucking make an anthology of NXT. I'll fucking yeah, I was, actually, I'm thinking about actually just going back and, and watching, like, you know, going to the beginning of, say, like, I don't know, NXT 1.5 or whatever you want to call it. Like 2015. When, yeah, like when they stopped being the game show and just started yeah. putting on their regular show and like just going through that and just just watching because some of the early stuff like when it first first started that way I didn't see like I had caught you know some of it but I wasn't into it at the very beginning. Um, I had seen Someone some like of the with game Seth show. Rollins. Yes. Okay. Seth that Rollins point. and like okay. Roman when he was first yeah. there. Yeah. Like I think oh. I pretty much started with the. Uh, when like the four horsemen were there, like Finn and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, like that group, like. Oh, so you started there. So you didn't start with the FCW days because that's when they were started doing it. So right. They transition to NXT because mm. they they that was the plan anyways. They were like, okay, fuck this game show, it's done. So yep. they just they just rename FCW because they got rid of from over there for to take it to their facility. Yeah. And then let's fucking call it NXT, fucking next generation. That was supposed to be the title of NXT Next Generation mm-hmm. Stars. But when he created that's when you had the Roman, the title the the, the, the Rollins. Yeah. Uh even Pac when he was ready coming in. You know, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. yeah. I think actually that's where yeah, because mm-hmm. it was uh it was uh Neville and um Bray's uh brother. Um, oh, and Bo Dallas. Bo, Bo Dallas, Dallas. yes. Yep. That's where I started with yeah. those two guys. Yeah. Um I remember they, there was that and there was like the dusty classic, uh the 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 first one that they did. The it was like one. around that time. That was mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that and was, that was when we were seeing the likes of Becky. She mm-hmm. was still that Irish, mm-hmm. like last. Yeah, uh, everyone doing that dance. Like, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god. They were all so See? different. This is why I'm trying to tell you to be patient yeah. with <laughs> NW. See how long it took them. Why can't you be patient? patient. <laughs> Why can't you be patient with AEW? Look how long it took NXT. You, yeah, you had to look at how. No, you're right. Look. Alexa Bliss. Look at her, and Cheer she was leader. just like. Cheerleader, cheerleader manager yeah now look at her so yeah, yeah. No, i feel you i feel you 
So you gotta be oh, patient. Man. You gotta be patient. Patient. <laughs> No. <laughs> I want it now. I know, I, I know, man. I know. I want it now too, but oh, I just wish I want that consistency from them. I just, I yeah. hope they do that. I yeah. fucking hope I they do that. So they're getting too. there. They're getting there. You know, they're growing, and all of the the, the women there in AEW wrestlers, they, they've got that potential. Like we could see it. We could see it. You know, we all can. Whether you're on the side of you know being patient or not being patient, I feel like the common thing is like we all do see the potential that. They so oh, man. you know we're all rooting for the same thing it's it's it'll get there it'll get there man yeah but man look at the stories even from japan like the joshi the yoshi pros yeah. the women man it's mad introduced me to a lot of those things that i didn't know much about i knew about it but when i mad and i when i got to know him more and got him part of the team i'm like what the fuck i he opened my there's some fun shit going on with them. Yeah, I need to get more into that too. That's what I'm saying. Like oh, the stuff yeah. that they're doing over there is just. It's That's just why you gotta yeah. join us. You gotta join us, then. I'll yep. give you a one each Japan match that you will love. That okay. Would be, that would be well, two. There's just so many, man. I, I like go back and watch what Osprey versus Ricochet mm. on the G1 Classics. Those are the ones. Yes. Man, I think if you go back to the last three years of the G1s, you'll. Just go with G1s. Okay. Go with G1s better. All right. Those are more competitive, more hard hitting, and more storytelling. And it's like, oh, you can trust me, bro. I used to be up at three, four in the morning. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. shit." (laughs) Right. Right. Right now. Right now. Right. Right. Well, I agree. It like, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. I like that. I think that's what I'll just go through the last couple years of the G ones and just follow those tournaments. Because yeah, I I I would definitely be into that. Because I've seen some storytelling with like you know when Kenny was in the G one, you know, and obviously Okada, you know, just his history with that. Um, You know, even this other guy, um, what's his name, the Switchblade, you know, did was yeah, yeah. So yeah, man, I'm. um, that's a great idea. I'm gonna go with that. Obviously, the Osprey. I feel like I've seen parts of. They fought multiple times, though, right? Osprey and Ricochet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, that's um, like that, that match is always popular because they're the ones yeah. flipping, flopping, flipping here. But hey, <laughs> that's your Dragon Ball Z right there. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude. Yes. Yes. You, yes. You can even go back to Dragon Lee versus Osprey. You can even go back to. I would even say. Uh, what could I say? Maybe okay. I could say Hiromu. Yeah, Hir- Hiromu Takashi versus um, Dragon Lee or versus what well, I want to say. Fuck, there's so many fucking great matches that he has. Or even Naito from Los Ingobernables because you know original Los Ingobernables came from Mexico. They went to Japan, and then you can, if you look at their matches, uh, Sonata is my favorite. He has not won the belt yet. If you look at that guy. Look for look for Sonata. His matches yeah. fought are insane. Nice. And uh, look at that match versus Cody Bushi actually. And the, that was the, the year before G1 finals. Coda versus Sonata in the finals. Coda versus Sonata. Say Coda. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kota Ibushi versus Sonata in the finals for the G1. That was the, the one 2021. That one or 2019. One of those two. Man, emotional story. Emotional. Kota Bushi's the shit, man. That dude is fucking awesome. I saw some stuff back in the day with him and uh, Shinsuke, and just strong style, man. Those two beat the shit out of each other. Like, oh my god. So yeah, I definitely want to go back and, and see see them, and and also too even some early stuff with uh with Kenny and Kota as a tag team. Like, oh, seeing, I've seen, yeah, yeah, like I've seen some in in um on New Japan's YouTube channel. They have like the history of like Kenny Omega, and I've seen some of the, like in the doc- documentary style of their team. But it'd be cool to like go back and watch some matches and like see their chemistry because it just seemed like they were so in sync, you know. Like yeah. as far as tag team wrestling, that's that's you know interesting too. And yeah. they never did they ever. Well, I think in the beginning they went against each other, but then they had respect for each other and then became a team. Is that how that went? Uh, the, the beginning of the, how the team happened with them. That's the, when they split it up, he ended up going to the Buddha Club, and then they never they, actually fought each other. They never fought. Oh, okay, no. yeah, because um, yeah, I was trying to remember if they'd actually had a feud and then, but yeah, okay. okay they had a feud when it comes to a tournament. They had, right. but, but but it was just only like the tournament that they had that they fought. 
this is this is what Kenny was face, and yeah. this, was, this is what he was still green. Uh, so it wasn't like he right, 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 right. Kenny that's what, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. that 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 doesn't happen until later on when they became the Golden Elite. And then they challenge each other, but then they added Cody Rhodes into the yeah. fucking match, yeah. triple threat match for the belt. <laughs> uh, and then like anybody but Cody, but the match was great triple threat match. I I, I loved it. And then, yeah, man, Cody. If you, if <laughs> Jesus, look at the highlights from the recent one that he lost when he lost to Okada. Oh, he fucking Trump up, man. He did that Phoenix. You saw? I don't know. You saw the clip. No, I didn't see the clip. I didn't oh see the clip. God. He did the. Oh, he, dude, I'm looking the for Phoenix that. Splash. The way how he landed. Done. All right. Oh here. no. So, oh. oh fuck. That's why the match was stopped. That's why Okada ended up winning. It was Okada was supposed to win regardless, but it wasn't supposed to end that. Way. It, okay. Oh, no. So the, the way how it ended is that he did the Phoenix Splash, but it, you know, obviously Okada moved out of the way and. I guess Ibushi did not land it on time and landed right in his face and shoulder. Oh, okay, maybe so I won't see that. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want to see that. You yeah, he, see he, that just, he just uh, looked at no, no, he, oh. he, he didn't get up. He just stayed there. So he did not yeah. move at all because he knew he just looked at his shoulder. Right. He knew, yeah. and, and, you know, the ref wanted to go check on him. Like, You're right. I'm like, I can't continue. My shit's done. And that's when I'm like, yep, stop it. That's it. And Rokata won the G1. That's why he's facing uh shingo for the title but now they're adding will osprey so now they're doing two uh, two night events mm. they've been they've been started doing like a wrestlemania like two nights instead of one night now they're doing two yeah nights. wrestle kingdom mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. they're doing yeah. wrestle kingdoms like that too you know twice so it's it's gonna be this is this was gonna be interesting because will osprey never lost it legitly he just got hurt he dropped it he had him well he got stripped so now he wants to come back and want it it's gonna be a the master versus the protege, which is mm. Will Osprey, who was part of Chaos with Okada. Yeah. Turned his back on him. So now <laughs> like, there it's going to be them again, watch. And I think oh, Okada's going to go over, man. Okada's a John Cena yeah. of New Japan. Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Oh, man. Dude, you get it, you get dude, Japan, you're getting bro. me hyped about this, man. <laughs> I got to see this. This is my shit right here. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I'm hey. telling you, watch those matches, bro. You'll get more interested. In, you'll get more involved. Yeah. Spe especially watching the Japanese commentary. It's just, I love it. How they, like, they're, they're really, they exaggerate. I don't know. Like, oh, my God. You get, you get more interested. Oh, Even though I hear Kevin Kelly, but I love Kevin Kelly, but I have to hear the Japanese commentary. Like, oh, shit, yeah. you're getting into it. Right, right. Just the passion that they have. For yeah, because you can hear it, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude! I'm oh, telling you, dude. go back and look at those matches at least. Go back to the G1 from like two years or three years ago, okay. and just you'll get invested. And then from there, you're you're gonna start watching G1 moving forward because you're like, oh shit, she wants to start. That's the Royal Rumble for them, but it's a fucking long term. That's the only bad part about it. It's like six weeks every fucking day of fucking wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> it's Whoever goes and Brian Danielson does that, he might retire after that because that's oh, <laughs> yeah. the, Moxie, Moxie did it. Moxie did it. He did the whole G1. Go back and look for the Moxie G1. His were classic matches. Hmm, oh, you'll love you like Moxie. One. <laughs> Write that down too. Yes. I'm getting some, I'm getting some gems today. I only you. <laughs> you get in New Japan here on Clark Street. Yeah. <laughs> Listen 2.0. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> in the background. In the background. <laughs> like, oh, oh, how's this going on? Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll watch some more G1 real quick. All right. We'll watch more G1. <laughs> right. That's what I'll do. I have the G1 going on here. I have 2.0 in the back. Like, yeah, you said, hey, you said I could do that, right? <laughs> Multitask. <laughs> yeah, man. Get involved with that, man. Because oh, something tells me, with these doors opening, something tells me that we're going to see either Punk or someone is going to go to New Japan. Is it going to happen? Hey, Brian, for sure, is going. That's what he wanted. Yeah, but. Yeah. That's what he wanted. Like, like they, WWE they was trying to make yeah. that happen. You know, like, they were they're trying to do that deal. Japan. Yeah. Yeah, and then I mean, Daniel still, Brian still said, "Fuck it, nah, I, I nah, want something different." Nah, he wants you know, something but, different. Yeah, but I'm just scared for him. 
if he does go out and be fair for his life, because that ring is no joke, man. That's mm. not like a ring here in the States. I'm telling you. It's, I think it's, he wants that. Maybe as his, part of his last, yeah, last stretch. You might not be off that he does that and then retires. Like, literally, he's just like, all right, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I've, I've fulfilled, you know, this last thing that I needed to do, you know, before I could call it a career. Like, that, that might be it. Yeah, but the biggest question, who is he going to face up? There's oh, so many fucking yeah, great talents, any, man. There's that's so any many. Choice. That's, the, that's the beauty of it, though, you know? It's like all the dream matches he could have out there. I, I'm, I'm happy. I want him to do it. Now, the, the more you even talk about it, too, I'm just like, <laughs> I want that for Brian, man. All the matches that he could have, all the different true, like, wrestling matches he can have, and... Oh, dude, it's he loves I'm wrestling, more, man. You, you yeah, heard about he you heard about Kenta, right? Kenta called out Punk. Kenta, really? Punk. When he won the IWGP US title away from Tanahashi, he called out Punk. Hey, ah, come over here. I'll put it. you to go to sleep. Ooh, make, I was gonna say, hey. let's make it happen. Yes. Let's put this to bed. Who, who has the all. best right? Yeah, oh, Kent, oh, Kenta's man. the originator, man. I gotta give it to Kenta. You yeah, know? I was gonna say Kenta. I think Kent, that out of respect, I think Kenta needs to win that. Like it just has to happen. It but, has to happen. Whew. Yeah, because <laughs> he doesn't happen. get enough respect. Like Kenta doesn't get enough respect. If, I like, was just about to mention that, man. It, yeah, yeah, the NXT run, man. Uh, respect me. Yeah, respect it's me. True, he doesn't, man. He doesn't. Yeah. They call you that GTS uh, CM Punk's move, but uh, man. You know, he didn't originate it, you know. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Like, but when, when Kenta does it, you think of CM Punk. But when CM yeah. Punk does it, it's just like, oh, it's his. It's like, That's what? true. <laughs> yeah, he did it. Man, right. if you go back and look at Kenta's matches from, like, Matt was showing me, I saw a couple of matches. Uh, Kenta from but he is his time in DDT Pro Wrestling. Mother mm. Oh, my God. I'll have to forward it. Like, if I find it, I'll forward it. And then yeah. watch it. This motherfucker... You want to talk about those hard kicks that we saw with Miro and Brian? Yeah. No, you want to watch this? These hard kicks that they give each other, they don't give a shit. They treat it, they disrespect the shit out of me. They, like, they don't. Ooh, that's some, oh, that's some real shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, now I can tell why, you know, NXT dropped the ball on Kenta. And, like, yeah, they fucked. But it's not as, you know, but then again, it's, if, it's all party's fault because he got hurt. He didn't heal right. And you can yeah. tell that he didn't want to get healed right. That's why he's like, fuck this. Fuck this American wrestling. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why he went back to Japan. But then, you know, that's why he's in New Japan right now. So, I mean, hey, I, I love it, man. I, I love Kenta, man. I, I fucking love Kenta. <laughs> I, I, if they happen to see him punking Kenta, I will lose my mind if Dude. that happens. I hey, man. I mean, there's nothing really stopping Punk right now from doing that. You know, no, the Forbidden no, Door no. is open. It's right Wide there open. for you, Wide you know? Open. So, hey, and he's doing all these dream matches here, but why not travel? Let's see it. Mm. Get the people what they want. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, y'all. I'm going to sign right. out from here. Um, this here. is this has been fun. This has been fun. We're going to do that debate. We're going to make it happen. Oh, hell the yeah. rematch. Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> no, we didn't lose the first mic. But hey, it's okay. We'll do it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll do it I again. Can't wait. Yes, sir. I can't wait. Let's see how it happens, man. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All, All right, y'all. Right, I'll see you. I'll see you. All right. All right Later, guys. Good night, guys. Later. Yeah. Later.